Look at the set coming through. Julian Wilson in position. Here we go. Wearing the Jeep leader's jersey. Wilson. Stands tall. Just a quiet little cover up there. Now coming through this inside. Slams on the brakes. More of a vision there. Posture straight up to come out with a spit. Just showing off why he's a, a pipe master. That was a casual effort for Julian. Yeah, he's got a different attitude this year too, I think, Joe. And, and uh, that injury obviously didn't do any favors, but he went on to win with it. But look at this board. Looks amazing under his feet. He's taking his time. I love that little check turn to get himself nice and deep. And uh, what a way to start. I mean, that's what you want. Wave selection, positioning, timing. Done with style, done with speed, power, and that, that flow that Julian Wilson possesses. Watch this turn right here, Joe. This turn is amazing. Just a real small little check turn, but inside the barrel whilst doing it. Just wiping off that speed. Maximizing the scoring potential, and what a way to start. That's how you want to begin your heat. See so much space in this cavern, Potts. That's the turn I was talking about. Now, he's not going to get points for that turn, but what it did was it just put him in such good position. And it wiped off just enough speed to keep him right in the eye of the storm. Comes flying out the end. Looks like he's riding a bigger board as well. Pretty uh, big waves. Uh, I was just behind him and I was like, oh, that's too late, you know. But uh, he, he was going for it, so I, I was just watching and he got wiped out and uh, yeah, lucky he got a pile. <laughs> and now just seeing more and more rookies coming. This is Julian nice and deep, too wow. deep. An absolute freight train of a section just runs down the reef. Opening number for Jules, a 7-3-3. Big part of stalling towards that tail end. Stood straight up in the pit, which is pretty risky with all the turbulence on the open face of it. Late takeoff, knifing it is Jesse Mendez to answer. Bottom turn, squares into a heavy water section. Oh my Barely God. had a low road opportunity there. That thing looked impossible towards the tail end. Can you imagine the view that Jesse had when he squared up into that thing, Potts? <laughs> That's a, a thing that nightmares are made of, Joe. That was incredible from Jesse Mendez. Crazy. Just a scary movie right there. A haunted house to pull into on that inside corner. Let's and see what happens. a happened. solid one. Look at that from deep. This guy's taking off maybe a little bit too far on the shoulder. That way barreled all the way to that point. Now he pulls in and it just gets completely full of white water but geez he traveled quite a distance there is so many different little spots little nooks and crannies that fire up on different swell directions julian wilson interested in this one having a go great entry into this wave one big drive a tough section to make wilson fighting hard for the completion but it'll end up going down Former pipe master, former triple crown champ. Surfing as a sport has such an open mind. And all those little suggestions are taken close to heart. Watching this. David Delroy car, the wild car, pulls in towards the end of this ride. Great read down the line to get one quick barrel. He'll sneak in for a little pocket ride exit. And now he'll get on the board. Had a .5 before that lines on that board and he was so happy with the trials win doing that he'd represent West Oz in the main event having a look Jesse Mendez grabs the rail through the takeoff trying to wipe off some speed no get puffed out down carb to show some control he won't get credit for it as he gets taken out needing a 667 for the leadoff Wilson every day and what you think about this one yeah late drop from Jesse I love the technique there slows himself down just enough to get in there a difficult thing to do here at North Point so that's going to be uh, Jesse's best wave up until that just a couple of small scores definitely a bigger set wave grab the rail straight away now he comes off the bottom using that hand now he uses the body you can see using part of his 
leg, his arms to, to slow himself down to get in there as long as possible. And that is a technique that was started a long time ago. Challenges everyone. You know, I think uh, John John proved that it could be surfed radically like he did last year, but it is a tough wave. Wilson's in now. Pulls in real quick under the hood. Looking to get deeper on the end section. He'll go to turns. Big vertical whip straight up. And he'll hop out of the inside corner. Wilson still was holding a 1-3-3, so he'll improve on that score and the lead out front with 10 minutes to go. Why? Because, let's see, this is the angle the judges are looking from. So you can see him the whole way. Now, most surfers would be super happy with that, but the judges want to see these guys get super deep. So not a big score, but he's improving his situation. This is the drone angle. Look at that. Perfect positioning. Slows himself down. It's a tricky wave to ride, but just looking for that completion, which he's got. Extending his lead just that little bit more. Now 9.55 to go. David Delroy Carr, the trials winner, locks into a closeout section. Handing priority to Mendez. 9.40 to go. Especially in barreling racetrack conditions, you can see how he's keeping that arm free from the wall. Watching Mendez with a lot of speed. It's shoving him down the line to a solid shack. Mendez gets sent down again. He's had a couple of fair attempts. His high mark is 6.0. Still just eating a 4.57. We always reseed round one, two, and three. Mendez up again. Manages to stall a bit for that first section. And then hops out the other end. He's starting to hunt now. Four, five, seven gets him the lead. Did he do enough on that putt? No, I don't think so. I think he needs to go further out the back, Joe. The judges have made it quite clear. It was a bigger wave. It was longer. So this is uh, this going to be a small score for Jesse. You need the set waves to get those big scores. I mean, it's not a big score required of 4.57, but still something of substance is needed, you know. Holds him in second, an absolute beast of a wave coming through. Oh. Delroy Carr just salutes the wave and will wear that one onto the shallow shelf. And call that one a heat. We'll see Delroy Carr again in the second round, along with Jesse Mendez. The man on top of the Jeep leaderboard, Julian Wilson, gets the win. Really just hanging on to that start of a 7-3-3. Wow, I'll tell you what, that four-point ride from Jesse, ever so close, but... Not enough. Julian moves through and it's a clean mistake free surfing is what it takes. Last seat of the day coming up next. Toledo takes on Coffin and February.